going to use my gnome. We're going to make a wreath with him. Thank you. I appreciate it, Michelle. Thank you, Esther. Yes, my beautiful gnome. You guys know me and gnomes. And this was the other one. And the way I'm doing it, I could e I could use either. I'm using a buffalo check 10 inch um, mesh. Okay, no problem. Thanks, Michelle. So either one will work with this mesh. Oh, that is cold. Ooh, where you live, Esther. So you have your choice. I have a few left. There's only a limited amount of these that I'm making um, because I found this special material and I only have a little bit left. And I have two uh, sets of the hearts left. Oops. That I used the other night, Monday night, in making my grapevine wreath. And only one of the large, the smaller gnomes that I have left, too. Two sold already. All right, we'll get started. I'm gonna be using, um, like I said, the 10 inch mesh. It's kind of that fabric mesh. And because this is kind of flimsy, it doesn't stay up as good as regular mesh, I'm going to, I cut it in 28 inches, so. That's what we're going to start with. I already started doing it because I know you guys know how to do ruffles. So, it tends to turn up on the end there. Thank you. And I made the uh, wreath frame using the tinsel ties I always talk to you guys about come in a roll for like two something, two dollars, three something. Um, Trendy Tree has some, um, Craft Outlet has some, Sims has some. Not everybody carries the same colors. So a lot of times I have to look all over to find the color I want. It runs it turns out to be cheaper than getting a pre-made work frame. And I like it because the tinsel ties are a lot thinner. They're not as thick as the ones that you get on a pre-made. And it's just a Dollar Tree wire frame. That's what I like to use on all my wreaths. I find that the um, pipe cleaners do not hold up near as well as the tinsel dye does. And they don't rust like the pipe cleaners do. I've seen pipe cleaners within a year from dampness just rust out and break. So I prefer to use the tinsel ties whenever possible. These are cut at 28 inches. They're 10 inches wide. I think I got this uh, mesh at Hobby Lobby. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Evelyn. What's the weather like in Kentucky? guys, I'm getting so excited. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday, we are having a baby shower for my daughter-in-law. She's due February 29th. She's having a boy. And I have been busy sewing and making centerpieces. Okay, Kathy, you can get them at Craft Outlet. You can get them at Sims. You can get them at Trendy Tree. I'll show you what 
the packaging looks like. Like this one here, this one came from Sims, okay? There's 25 feet or 26 feet of roping. So it'll either come long like this or circle like this. Hi, Marsha. I find it it's easier, it holds up. It's easier, believe it or not, for me to twist things with it. Um, I, I do not use the pipe cleaners anymore unless I absolutely have to for a color reason only. Everything else is done with the tinsel ties. And when I'm making my work crease, I put a little spot of glue and then I twist it. I already have it around the frame and then I put a spot of glue and then twist it again and they really hold up. It's really hard. You can't, you can't even break them, moving them back and forth like you could on a pipe cleaner. So that's the part I like the most. I know that if my customer has this out and it's not totally covered, it's not going to get, um, it's not going to rust out like the pipe cleaners do. And how many times have you spent all that time making a work wreath and you're twisting and then it falls apart? You're so welcome. It happens. It used to happen to me a lot. It doesn't happen to me anymore. They're a lot sturdier. And if you find like, okay, your work wreath, like this is one probably from Sims. Look how fat these suckers are. I mean, wide, okay? These are real skinny. The mesh is cut at 28 inches. It is um, 10 inch mesh from Hobby Lobby. I went to Hobby Lobby when I went to the um, conference up in Rochester. That was my first time at Hobby Lobby and I had a ball. Wilhelmina and her husband Steve took me. Well, I drove. They showed me how to get there. <laughs> and we had some great New York pizza afterwards. So yes, this is by far my favorite color. Oh, I lost a little ribbon. Show up. I thought this would look nice against the white background. It pulls out the black and the white, or the black and the red. And then I found some really cute balls that had the three colors. And I think I'm gonna try and incorporate feet in this. Hi. Hi, Toady. Hope I pronounced that right. I think we have some new people on here today. Don't hesitate to spread the love for me. I put in all my links in the comment section. Don't forget to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because many chats going to be going away. So if you subscribe to my Facebook page, you're not going to get any messages. So you need to go to my YouTube because if ever I get put in Facebook jail, that's where you're going to find me. We're doing 21 inch mesh, fabric mesh. And I cut my tinsel ties at 12 inches. That would be these silver things. I cut them at 12. So I used 
I still have a lot left over and I can use this to tie the bow down. I can also use this to make a hanger at the top if I wanted. But mostly hangers on my wreaths, I will use um, zip ties because they, they really hold up under any kind of weather. And this noom is only one of three. I have this color and I have this color. I haven't posted them on Etsy yet. I will be doing that. I am using now this Mongolian Gorilla Faux Fur. This has like a three inch nap to it. It is the softest faux fur I've ever had. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's gotta be something you can use. I will actually take these balls wherever I decide to put them and put some glue on here and just stuff that inside and that will hold it securely. I don't think that will ever come off. And like I said, again, there's uh, two sets of the um, hearts that I need left. I haven't posted those yet either. I was busy sewing for my new grandson yesterday. I have a lot of things that I'm making for the shower. And in our private group, which is a paid group, $19.95 a month, I will be doing an awesome diaper cake this weekend. We meet every Monday and Friday night. It's all recorded on a Zoom call. So you can go back and look at any, any uh, past ones we've done. You can talk to us face to face, no more typing. We can answer your questions right on the spot. It's an awesome group. There are seven of us in the group. And we do everything from grapevines to furniture to chalk couture to sewing to um, centerpieces. Everybody brings something to the table. In fact, what I should do is figure up how many years experience we all have in doing what we do. Because I bet you there's over 200 years of experience in our group. And that's saying something. We all are members of Lori's hardworking mom group. In fact, Lori's one of our members. She joined our group and she pops on every now and then. I'm just making sure you guys can see okay. If you can't, let me know. I always fold down the ends because this is a fabric mesh or fold them under, I should say, just to try and handle some of the frame, keep it neat. Christmas is finally over. Two. We got two more. Hi, Levon. Levon's in our group. And tell them, Levon, where you're going to be. Um, designing soon. Well, is it September? Like I said, we have a lot of creativity in our group. 
lot of awesome women. Hi, Margarita. <laughs> she was mine first, Michelle. Back off. <laughs> My Harless. I know, right? Came from Hobby Lobby. I thought it would really accent my gnome. It's a fabric mesh. It's really soft. That's why I've gone to 28 inches because this mesh can get real floppy and I needed it to have some volume. If you guys have not signed up for my YouTube channel, please do. The link is in the comments. Just go on and subscribe. Because they are going to take mini chat away from Facebook soon. And you won't be able to find me. That will alert you when I download or when I'm live on YouTube. Okay, got a wreath done. There we are, 28 inches of 10 inch wide mesh. And what I think I'm gonna do, I think this, this gnome is going to work best with this wreath. How's he look? And I wanna get him up a little high here because I thought this would be so cute to put the shoes, look at that, under his beard. Is that not cute or what? They were just a pair of ornament boots I had left over from Christmas. And I just took the tinsel tie and glued it in think it's safe to well I'll cut this in the middle and I'll tie that down securely underneath and then the other I'm gonna add to the tinsel ties up here See, because I can push that down through here and tie it to the frame also so it's double secure. Even though it shouldn't go anywhere with the tinsel ties. I'm still going to secure it. I hand sew them onto a frame and I just started buying this Mongolian um, Gorilla Mesh. In fact, where did I put it? I have the first time I listed the gnomes in my, um, on my Facebook page, somebody asked me where I got the fabric. It's like $32 a yard for this alone, okay? Um, I did list the, um, the link to Amazon for that, if anybody's interested. But what I'm trying to do here, I want to give him some feet. Hi, Joy. How's that look? 
Doesn't that look cute sticking out under there? I want to get this up just a little higher. These are my, I was the original designer of these gnomes. And I have on my YouTube channel, I have a tutorial on them. And I do have two left of that and I think two left of this one that will be put on my Etsy site. Well, hi, Sandra. Welcome from Holland. Nice of you to join us. All right, now I got to figure out how we're going to mount him. Okay. There is a frame under here, so I do have a place to grab the frame and tie him down. Oh, no. When are you having that taken care of, Joy? Now I'm going to poke a little hole through here so I can attach to the frame. And again, I'm using more of my tinsel tie. So this tinsel tie was like $1.97, I think, for this whole roll of 26 feet. And look, it's going to help me secure my pieces to the wreath. It's also going to help me when I do my bow. So, and Joy, I just got your message on which gnome you wanted, so that'll go out tomorrow, just so you know. Just put a little hole in there. And then wrap this around the frame on the inside. Sorry, I should have done this ahead of time. But I'm busy with puppies. So you try and do things when you can. There we go. Go there. And I want him to fall about there. I want his beard just to overlap those boots just a little bit. See. Two back here. I'm going to put a little spot of glue there just to secure it and do a twist. There we go. Vaughn is one of our designers in our group. Joy is one of our members. So if anybody has any questions, I'm sure Joy would be able to answer any that you might have along with Vaughn. Thank you, Sandra. I almost got my hand stuck. <laughs> Yikes. That would have been a first on a live. Got hands stuck in a wreath. There we go. And of course, I go back and I um, turn it under, so. tie this together too. This is holding the shoes just a double secure. Oh, 
how's you looking so far? I can shorten his beard if I want. I can bring the point to about here, but I'm just gonna let it hang down. All right, so now we're gonna get started on the um, tails. I've got these two colors, because I wanted to incorporate red, I wanted to incorporate the black, and I also wanted to incorporate white. But I didn't want this to look totally like Valentine's, so I actually had three Valentine's glued on here that I took off. I may put these back on to give it some depth. Um, I'm not sure, because I even had this little sign that match this. So I thought, the way I'm decorating this, this can stay up a while. It doesn't have to be considered a Valentine's wreath. I mean, this just says love. So, yeah. Okay. So we'll start with the uh, ties. Or the tails. Don't mind me. No, the She Who Sander were actually um, from Hobby Lobby right before Christmas. I think I got them in like September. I've used them a couple of times in some of my designs. Um, I had um, a standing gnome that I made. So I incorporated those in that. I don't know about this red and black. Well, because it's sitting on top of the white and red, it, it'll go. All right, I'll keep it. If I don't like it when I'm done, I'll just change it. I cut my tails at 13 inches. For some reason, the smaller ones are just a little bit longer than the bigger ones. I'm going to sit down, take a load off. Oops. And then we're going to make a bow to go with this also. this ribbon. It's very stiff. And keep watching Facebook because after next Saturday I'll be able to post a lot of the designs from the um, Woodlands Baby Shower. Hi Daisy, how are you? That we're having for my daughter-in-law. I can't post anything now because she could be watching. And I don't want to ruin the surprise. And like I said, in our group on Friday night, it's my turn to design. And I will actually be making... A woodlands diaper cake so I will post that after the shower well welcome Daisy where are you watching from I'm glad 
glad you could join us. Is that up or down? Up. We cut the mesh at 28 inches and we did ruffles. It's 10 inch wide mesh from Hobby Lobby. The Noom is my design. I have instructions on my YouTube channel on how to make him. If you wouldn't mind going to my channel and subscribing, I appreciate it. Well, welcome. You think we're going to get that snowstorm on Saturday? I just hope it, it doesn't come the following Saturday for the shower. So we have a lot of people that won't be able to show up. have a few of these left and I have a few of this one left. I haven't posted it on my Etsy channel yet. <coughs> I did post the smaller gnomes, the 15 inch ones I think they are, and already two have sold. Yeah, I have places I can get fabric that you can't find it. So, and see, since he's here, I can kind of skip a tie and go over to here. So I didn't cut as many as I usually would because I knew um, some of them would be hidden by him. And some would be hidden by the um, bow. And I use tinsel ties, which I showed in the beginning. I do not use pipe cleaners in my wreaths. If I can at all away with just these I do. Alright, let's start up here. Just saw what I did wrong. That goes with this one. This one goes with that one. Okay. Is Kayan watching? Kayan, are you watching? If you are, say hi. We won't tell you where you are. <laughs> we won't tell. wearing my 
my Cubby of the Month shirt from last year. I mean, hardworking mom, Lori's Jacobs group. And I finally got my Cubby shirt. So. You guys been watching pictures of my puppies they are growing like weeds well hi Cheryl welcome thank you I um, I love to sew and I love to create things, so you'll be seeing more creations, hopefully. Ah, uh, there they are, hiding. Don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about um, wreathing, centerpieces, furniture, chalk tour, any of that stuff, well, why don't you join our group? It's $19.95 a month. Okay, we've got all the tails on there. Now we're going to make a bow. Here, I'll lift it up so you can see it. Doesn't he look cute with the little boots? They came from Hobby Lobby at the beginning of the year. Well, beginning of the holiday season. I think it was September that I got them. The gnome is for sale, Cheryl. I haven't placed them on my Etsy shop yet. I have two. There's two left of this one and two left of that one. I use the Mongolian Gorilla Faux Fur. It has like a three inch um, nap to it. See? It is the softest fur. I want to make a blanket out of it and just lay on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do our bow. I need more room. I'm going to use the Easy Bow Maker. Since I have black and red in my wreath, I'm going to start with the white and red on the bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of my um, tinsel tie to tie my, my bow down. And then we're going to put these guys on, and then we'll see if we want to put this on. And we might put these on his hat just for some dimension. Oh, thank you. I think I want like a 12 inch tail. So and I think I'm going to do I'm trying to figure out where I put my ribbon holder so I don't have it falling all over the place. Yeah, here we go. Still trying to pack up Christmas stuff down here. There. We go. there. Trying to work smarter this year and not harder. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing a six inch loop. And I'm going to do, I think, six, four, six, four. Carla made one in our group the other night, and I really like the way that turned out. So 
going to do three loops on one side and three loops on the other side. y'all see the heart wreath I made the other night with my hearts? I made the hearts. There's three of them that come in a set. Okay, so we've got three and three. Now we're going to do the red. You see, this is what you're going to see against the wreath. So because the wreath is red and black and this is red, I wanted to start with this one because I thought the white would give it a cleaner look. So I'm going to do four loops of this. And I'm going to go about a half inch smaller on these loops. So these will be about five and a half inches. And I'm going to do four of this. Okay. Yvonne is one of the designers in our paid group. She does beautiful, beautiful furniture restoration and wreaths and centerpieces, and we just love her. All right, then, because this would get kind of buried against this red, I'm going to go with this color next. I'm trying to build my bow so it's visually visually enticing so it doesn't get lost in all the colors that I have on this because it could get overwhelming so this is just a way to kind of make it pop more I'm going to go about a half inch smaller than the last time and I'm going to do six of this six loops Anybody have any design challenges this week that have caused them to walk out of their craft room? <laughs> we all have those moments. You know you do. Right now I can't move in my upstairs craft room. This is my classroom down here. I teach wreath classes in my basement. And then we do cricket. Um, Cricket designs, and we do just about everything down here. Okay. All right, now we're going to go to the next one, and we're going to do four, and then we're done. The bow maker board now that I came from Michael's, I actually have one close by, so I ordered it online and used my coupon. It's the Easy Bow. It's nice because it has all the numbers here for measuring. You just kind of stick everything in here like you do a bow dabra. Thank you, darling. Appreciate it. Harless. Levon loves it when I get to the part that said, okay, now we're going to jack it up. And we're almost ready to jack it up. So she's going to be a happy camper. As long as Harless doesn't eat another lizard, we should be good. 
my poor guy ate a lizard the other night. Oh. Things our pets get into. You're welcome. All right, now I'm gonna cut a piece of this because I'm not really gonna need all that. So I'm gonna say a good 18 inches will be fine. See, I did cut like eight, I think, tails, so I didn't need all those tails because our gnome took up a lot of space. And I probably didn't need to use all the tails. So. Back that way. <laughs> told you she likes it when I jack it up now see look how many times I'm twisting this you could not do that with pipe cleaner that's why I love these tinsel ties they are awesome there it is it's called the deluxe okay and there is a spool holder on there but I don't know where the little dowel went, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, there's our little boot wearing guy. So I think my bow will go. I'm going to put it right about here. Man, this mesh is thick. When you use 28 inch, cut 28 inch. There we go. Come on. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take these tails off they're going to get covered up anyhow and they're bulking me down so there so what I'm because this tinsel tie I put on the bottom I'm actually going to take it and wrap it around too because I don't want it flopping to the side off the wreath so I'm going to secure it to Let's try three of the um, three of the the uh, wire. I know I like the I like that one. I like the Probo, and I like that one. I like to use that occasionally. I need another. Hi Judy. I need another. Um, Bodabra. Bodabra was my girlfriend's when we used to do some projects together and I sat on it. <laughs> so it's all taped together. There we go. All right, let's fluff out our bow here. Now you got to do this to get it to come up. Worry about the tails last. But I want to get some height to it. So we've got six on the bottom, then four, then six again. This, this ribbon came from Sims, except I think this one. There we go. Now we've got the black.
probably could have gotten away with three in the middle. That's okay. Let's get these raised. And see, because the tensor tie is so tight, it actually is I'm able to curl it without it coming out. So that gives you a nice strong curve of your bow. And I could um, twist some of these too. I like the look of that. Okay. No problem, Judy. That's another thing we do in our paid group. We do a lot of um, bow tutorials. Yvonne made some really cute um, Valentine's pictures. <clears throat> okay, Laban, we're just about ready. Jack it up. We'll just curl these. Now this is the part where you guys get to give me your input, okay, because we're going to add those balls, but then you decide whether I need to add the sign and if we want to add some hearts to the hat. So what do you think? I'm definitely going to add these, okay? And I'm going to take the tops off because these tinsel ties are really strong, so I'm going to be able to glue and put that right down in the tinsel ties. I thought it'd just be a, a real nice um, addition color-wise. Just got to figure out where to put them. I think we'll do one here, one there, and the other one over here. So then we have to decide, do we want to put this anywhere? I could hang this from his nose, but you need to decide whether we put the um, hearts on his hat or not. I'm just putting a little bit of glue here. It's sinking down in. And then I'm going to glue this right to the tinsel tie and just push it down in and try not to burn my finger next time. <laughs> uh, I can trim this tinsel tie because it's still pretty secure. And with that ball there, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Thank you, Beth. Let's see if I can put both of them in there. Now it's a little hard, so one is enough. I'm going to double tie it again, and I'm going to trim the one. And put some glue on it. Oops, after I take the cover off of it. There. I do not need that. And these aren't coming off. Oops, I'm going to trim this a little more. There we go. Looks a little wild with that, doesn't it? Oh no, Maggie. I can. Okay, Bobby wants to cluster the hearts on the head, on the hat. Any 
Anybody else have any suggestions? Beth likes the hearts on the hat. A lot of people sick today. It's Susan's birthday and she's sick. So what you thinking? Like, like, like that on his hat? I'll turn it around. His boots look so cute. Let's see something. Um, I also have these. We could add these around here too. Look. In the other areas where I have some ties. Just a glittery ball. What do you think of those? Or do you think that's too much? Is it jacked up too much? Vine? Just a little bit of glitter. Like this? What about these little glitter balls? Do you think they look good added on? Could add one in the bow. I know, they're they're about 28 inches long, the gnomes. That's why I thought I'd do it on a wreath because I figured people cannot see how long they are from the picture. So see, look, it's from my shoulder to my knuckles. And I got long arms. So what do you think of the glitter balls in there? Or do you think that's too much? Five, six, we could add one more and make it seven. think of those are we jacked up enough oh Bobby where do you see I'm um, where do you see the um, the st. Patrick's one I got coming and I'm also gonna have um, an Easter one you think it takes away too much these balls Ever <laughs> is too much glitter. <laughs> All right, we'll take them off, but we'll do the hearts. I just thought some solid white in there would would help, because this just looks a little empty here. But I can poof up my tails to make my thing disappear. My, t my tinsel tie tie there. We'll do that. But you like the hearts where they're at then. I have these in white too. Maybe it's just some white plain pom-poms. 
would look good in there too. Let the gnome be. Okay, Maggie likes the gnome without the hearts. But I think it needs a little dimension, so. So I think, I think I'll leave the hearts stay. Because it just needs a little height there above what everything else is on here. Alright, so I guess we glue on the hearts and then we are done, ladies. Let me turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. Alright. I had I had vinyl on here. And it was pretty, but it was just too flat. I like it to have some dimension. And actually, I can pull this off after Valentine's Day. And it can just be a gnome, a winter gnome wreath. I like how they're, they're laying there. That is so cute. Thank you, Bobby. fluffing this bow a while. I just know it. There we go. Yeah, I thought, you know, it's hard for anybody to tell what these gnomes, how big they are, like like um, LaVon said, because you, you don't see them on anything. So you really need to see them in order to visualize the size. And I love his boots. I just think they're so cute. All right, I have this tie to disappear. This tie should move away. Man, the smash is so thick. When it's cut at 28, 28 inches. And I don't know, I still may go back and add just some pom-poms. Maybe just some white pom-poms. We'll see. Like I said, I can't wait till the shower's over so I can show you guys what all I've been week working on. Two new grandsons coming. One in February and one in June. So we are going to be busy. Okay. I think we're done. What do you think? Y'all like it? And these are on there, but they're not on there really tight. So I can pull them off after Valentine's Day. Like I said, I have this, but I'm not sure I want to, well, I don't know. up in here like he's holding on to it I don't know that I like this on there so thank you just a happy little guy I 
I said, I, I love working with this beard material. It's expensive. When you add up all the yardage, I got two yards of this stuff. But it's going in the um, the uh, St. Patrick's Day ones. It's going to go in the Easter ones. So I think we're done. I think we're good. I love these balls, and I've been trying to find something to put them in. I just love them. But no biggie. Like I said, I may. I may just make some white, plain white ones and put them in the middle. See, that's not white, but like if it were white, I don't know. I'll see. Where did I get what from? These or the pom-poms? These came from Big Lots. These I made. In fact, last week I showed you how to make um, a heart um, garland. The beard. Okay, if you go back on my Facebook page, when I first um, showed my gnomes, somebody asked, just send me a, a message, Beth. I'll... Um, I'll send you the link. It was on Amazon, the beard hair. It's got like a three inch long um, nap to it. And I like the variation of color. When I made my Christmas gnomes, I just had white beards and I love. Aw, thank you, Nanny Dot. Doesn't he look cool? Look at his little boots. So cute. And then, like I said, I have this one available too. And this would have even looked good on here. Let's see. Color wise, you still got, you could get away with this too. Yeah. Yeah, I thought they did. But again, it might be just too much overload. I may need to just soften it and just, um, Put the white, the white pom pom in there. I could add some glitter to it, because maybe with the silver it's just too much, too gaudy. Shake test, nothing's coming off. Oh, that was just loose. <laughs> I thought, oh no. And again, this is what the tinsel tie looks like. That you, you get it. Yeah, well, I'm going to go back and see about the, the white pom-poms. Okay. I just think it needs something, it needs like a solid white. Because we got so much red and so much black going on. This helps, and this helps. And the white in this helps, but I just still think it needs... A solid white pop to it. I don't know if I have <coughs> any solid white balls. I'm sure I do. It's just where are they? There's so much stuff yet to put away. <coughs> Like here's just a solid white ball. See how that, that's just a solid white um, styrofoam ball. See how that just adds <coughs> a little bit to it? Yes. So I think I'll go back to my pom-pom maker and I'll make a bunch of white ones because we've got a red one on his hat. So we could throw some white ones in here. 
and I think that would uh, do it up nice. This might just be too much because you got silver on here, so that might be just too much glitter. I'm never going to get to use these things. <laughs> I'm going to put them up on my shelf here because I have stuff up here on my shelf that I want to use in something and all of a sudden it's going to hit me. That's what I need. Yeah, it's just, it, it needs it to balance it because you got all this white here and here and then you got all this red and black. So it, it just needs a little pop of white to balance it. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, I appreciate you joining, sharing the love, all that. It means more than you know. It really does. Um, it helps my numbers. So, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. If you're interested, I'll wait another day before I post these on Etsy. Like I said, I only have two left. They are 28 inches long. They're not heavy. They go really nice in a wreath. Um, I do have a tutorial on my YouTube channel on how to make them. So, um that's on there it's had three something k hits on it so um i was the original designer of these gnomes and since then everybody is making them so i'll, I'll try and post the link in here on where to get the the fabric because you can't get this at joann's not this quality okay so i'll try and post it for you and if you want to watch me on here, you know, type get started, but your best bet is to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because mini chat is not going to be allowed to notify you much longer on Facebook. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have, I'm getting close to 700. When I hit a thousand, we're going to have a giveaway. Okay. Oh, yes. Thank you, Levon. It will be gone. And then watch for my St. Patrick's ones that I'm making and for my Easter ones. I have smaller ones in this, or actually, like, I think from here to here, the top of the hat, they're like 16 inches. So I do have those. Okay? You are so welcome. Thank you, Esther, for joining me. And thank you to all our newcomers. I go on live every Monday night at 645 and every Wednesday at uh, 2 o'clock. And then I try and post different things on uh, YouTube. I used to do Second Chance Saturday. Um, Thank you, Cheryl. I appreciate it. This little guy, he runs $29. And the little ones I have, they run $18. And you can, you, the little ones can stand up on a table. These, I can put a hook on the back if you just want it as a door hanger. Or you can um, just add to the frame some of the um this stuff what the heck tends to tie okay and secure them right down in same with the uh with the hearts now i use pipe cleaners because these pipe cleaners i didn't have this in brown and it uh, was able to disguise itself through the um grapevine but um if at all possible, I always use tinsel ties. This is a Dollar Tree frame with one pack of tinsel ties. And you cut them in 12 inches and it comes in 26 foot lengths. So, and you can see from the back, that's where all my tinsel ties are. And then I'll put a zip tie up here to hang it. And there we go. 
okay? All right, guys, I'll see you on Monday, unless you join our group, and then I'll see you on Friday night. All right, have a great day, and thank you.